Oh my. <laughs> this is bigger than the other one. He's, he's, oh my. That is awesome. Well, here we are, Middle Tennessee. And I love, I always say I love going to parks, find a park and there's creeks going through them, especially all through around the Nashville area. I already got a fish. I uh, came over here to meet up with Tyler and I'm waiting on him, he's on the phone and I'm over here making a cast. Boom, I get a smallmouth. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but this water looks awesome. Let me throw this fish back in here. Oh, I think they're gonna be feeding. First day of March, it is a beautiful day out here. This water looks amazing. I'm hoping to get some shots of that and hopefully we get some really good fishing. All right, I'm pumped. I'm gonna throw my waders on. The water's cold. We might get in it some. I caught that fish right there off the bank. I watched him come. I cast it out in the current. I watched his dark shadow come up and hit my lure. I was like, fish on. That was on the uh, Magma um, Nico Helgram, right? But I put my waders on and I got some new shoes. I am loving these. I wore them for the first time yesterday. They're Chodas. I ha they're not your typical like uh, felt. They're just rubber bottom, super lightweight, but they are wading shoes they're s and they drain really fast. So these things are super lightweight and comfortable to be, because we're going to hike down the trail. We might get in the water, we might hike a lot. And these are really nice to wear. So this is something I'm Think I'm really gonna love, and you can wear them without waders or with waders. So I'll leave some information on that because I got um I got these from a fly shop, and they because uh, I was trying to find out something I really wanted to wear, and they're like, you need to wear these hybrid 800. These are size 14, the biggest they got. A little tight on my feet, but um but we're putting them on. Let's get this water. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I see one. I see a smallmouth. He's right on the edge of that tree. The tree, come, the little limb coming off to the left. He's coming to look at my lure. He's coming to look at my lure. You see him right there? Straight in front of me. He's coming back up towards you. He looked at it and turned away. I'm about to drop it right in on him. Ah! Yeah, I know. That's why. I... Get one? Oh! That looks like the one I saw. Nice. They're just a bunch of them sitting in there, huh? Dude. That is awesome. I'm gonna let it go over here. Yeah. I'll video it over here. Look at that fish, dude. That's a two pound fish. Look at his stomach. I couldn't, uh, it's hard for me to like bank flip him because yeah. he's <laughs> six pound test. But, uh, look at that fish, dude. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, Tyler. I ain't got a single fish on this creek. We just moved to another creek. This is Tyler's third one. That's a pretty fish. We're just sitting here talking and boom, another fish. Oh, oh, that's a fish. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. How god. did you do that? How did I do that? I'm getting that? schooled over here creek fishing. Oh my god. Dude. Yes. That is an awesome fish too. That's that other one that was coming 
Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful fish. He's got like the stripes. Literally casted right up underneath that log that came down. And it was just, you saw my rod, dude. It just went whoop. Yeah, he <laughs> nailed that. That's awesome. Good release on this fish. Got to break it out. <sighs> Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do it. But that's definitely like, that's definitely what, like it's making them really make a decision on it. Yeah. Cause it'll sit there for a second and I'll give it like a little, a little movement and then I'll let it sit again and then they hit it. There we go. That one? Yep. Finally. Pretty solid. Uh, it's okay. Heck yeah, dude. There we go. As you can see, the sun's going down, and I've been struggling today. This fish have been a little, definitely finicky. Oh, he's pretty good. I like him. Yeah. I felt him on there. He was holding on to that one for a minute. Oh, nice. That's the smallmouth bass we're looking for. I hate proving myself right because I didn't want it to be right. I wanted to use that other color. And now uh, this color gets them. In clear water, this thing just kills them. Yeah, I know. It looks it's so realistic. Yes. There we go. That's a nice one. Nice. Dude, I've been waiting for this. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, smallmouth. <laughs> that's what they want. I thought I was actually. I thought it was snag when that one hit. I think was. That's a, those fish are so strong in there. Mm -hmm. I thought it was snag for the first like second. Like one more second. One more spot today. Ouch! Ouch! All I got around me is Jeeps. So many Jeeps down there. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. There he is. Good one. He's staying down. Nice. Nice fish. Good recommendation, Tyler. One more stop, he said. He said, go down here and cast. Dude, check that out. Yeah. Look at that small mouth. It's a thick small mouth he is thick. Oh my. <laughs> that dude is a chunk. Look at that, dude. He is so solid. Oh man. I'm just casting on both sides of the bank. A big long deep section here. And I felt that thump on that one. I felt thump. I was like, yeah. that's a fish. He's on there. Look, look, he's got a small mouth. His body's big. Yeah, he does. Dude, look how, look how healthy these fish are. I love when people think that um, this creek goes right through town. Dude, he's All... got a forehead. Look at his forehead. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, he's got, got an indention. He's got like a little indention there. Yeah, he might have got tried like a uh, crane or something. Might've these creeks go right through the middle of town. People, All kinds of runoff, cars and everything going by. People think that it's like unhealthy. It's amazing what these fish can go through, and they live such a good life in here. <laughs> These stick all the way back to this tail. Yeah. All right, that may be the last one, but dude, I'll, I'm so happy with that kind of fish. With, while the motorcycle's in the background. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. All right, dude, there's another one coming. Got the whole dude, thing. That, that's, that makes me, the video right dude, there. My dad called me twice during that video and it said audio will be temporarily muted, but I think I think you could stitch in your yeah. audio from it. That it was so awesome. Perfect, dude. I, I literally got everything. I just started recording again, too. I love it when you know they're there. Dude, I there he is. There's another one. There's another one. Another one. Same spot. Oh, my goodness. This feels bigger. 
Oh my goodness! Look at the wake down there! Dude, this dude is solid! Okay. Camera. Oh, yes! Yes! This is another like two pound plus. Same spot. <laughs> These guys are. Oh my! These are such good quality, like creek fish. And they're so just fat and sassy. Oh my. <laughs> this is bigger than the other one. He's, he's, oh my. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, dude. That, that's two and a half pounder. Probably. It's thick from the freaking. He is, he is thick. He's, he's probably 16 to 17 inches. Probably a two and a half pound fish. Beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Oh my. That is insane. Back to back cast. Pretty much back to back two pounders. <laughs> cool. Tyler's over here videoing for me, so hopefully that, that turns out really good. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I'll, I'll just video. Oh man, that is such a good fish. You can't uh, be disappointed in a fish like that. It's such a good quality. Yeah. Dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> we gonna go to three in a row? Release. We gonna get three in a row? <laughs> Two back to back, <laughs> they thumped it, and there I was 100% sure and I they didn't were there. Even bring my rod down here. Yeah, <laughs> I bet this murky even actually helps probably. It's golden hour too, man. Oh yeah, and that. Talking like it's the very end of the day. Is it? Is it? Uh, Boom! Three in a row! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh! He came off! Ah! Alright, let's go back. It's like the lens is like. The other one. The other one? The little guy. Hey! Rock bass! Where have they been today? First rock bass today. Usually you can count on about a dozen of these guys. Little one. We should have just met about three o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> next time, that's what we need to do next time. We just need to do like an evening creek fishing trip. I feel like it's always the best too. I would much rather fish creeks on midday on than, or than morning to midday. Oh, whoa, I'm starting to get shallow. Rock bass. Oh, he's a long one. Like a slender guy. So we're off that tree right there. What we got there? A little small mouth. Dude, this hole is, oh, what do you throw up? Pinchers, crawdad pinchers just came out of him. These guys are feeding. Getting their crawdad munching on. There's a lot of crawdads in these creeks, all of rock bottoms. Oh man, can't get enough of these little guys. Hey guys, well this is my second inning. I ended the video uh, about 45 minutes ago. Tyler said, let's, let's hit one more spot. He grabbed his uh, phone and videoed it. And that ending you just saw was well, whatever. I got four fish, I think, at one hole there. What a way to end the day. It was definitely kind of slow for me. And it was kind of slow in a lot of the holes. We really had to find those holes where the fish were. But if you found out where those fish were, it's like there was a bunch of them. They were bunched up. I had three bites um, in that one hole landed too. Then I caught a couple rock bass, same area. Just, I love getting out of here. This is, this is the kind of things I love to do. 
I actually, you know, evening was coming on and it was still a little bit of a warm day. I'm so glad we hit this last spot and try it out and get some fish. If you haven't checked out Tyler's channel, I'll leave his uh, video description. It does a lot of this. This is actually his creek. We actually jumped around from creek to creek, or not creek to creek. We may have switched two creeks, but we jumped around from a couple different holes. And it's like, there was a, we fished some really good holes that looked awesome, there was nothing in there. And then there was a couple holes that were, had a bunch of fish in there. And um, that's what they do. They do, they bunch up a lot. And the warmer it gets, the more they're gonna spread out. But I can't wait for this whole uh, year coming up. Summer's coming on just to be able to fish this kind of place like this here, right outside Nashville and Tennessee.